bring back some one a slight right shoulder maybe even a big right shoulder if they want big joe to head off to the right hand side well there he goes now it goes wide to Marius Chappell slipped the tackle Marius Chappell a telling try for South Africa and his fifth in international rugby well we spoke about Tano Umaga and his brilliant defensive work sadly though for the Kiwi captain it's him who misses the tackle this time Marius Chappell goes over for the try and South Africa right back in the game 10 points to 5 with a kick to come Pretty simple, and I think what the, the cause of this is Big Joe Fanico coming around the corner, obviously holding defenders. Umaga expected to do a little too much there, slipping the tackle. And it's a very clever build up, almost like a game of chess here. Joe Fanico, Joe Fanico, Joe Fanico, Joe passes, and all of a sudden a bit of space. Yeah, great stuff by Fanico at the back of the scrum. Montgomery this time, spot on. The difference now is three points. You can see all the defenders there really looking at Joe Fanico. Tano Umaga standing narrow, having to work quite hard to get wide, just not getting it right. Great South African attacking options there now. Well, there goes Fanico again. Actor Mertens wriggles away from him. Jono Gibbs eventually gets him, but they're committing the raw black defence. Work down by Victor Matfield. Conradi, Van der Best, and Barry. Barry, Barry's through the gap, he's got to get it to Hubert. Try number two for the big centre. Try number three for South Africa. The Paul Chim boys are in unison. Morris Hubert in for his second. It's the angles the South African backs are running at the moment. Dummy run is coming around the back. Creating all sorts of chaos in this new... New Zealand backline really. Two Tupo leaving there. Ola couldn't get there. And well offloaded by Devet Barry. Great try. Well, what is really causing problems for the All Blacks is the factor of Joe Fanica off the back of the scrum. He did it again. Monty has converted. He didn't connect that as well as he probably would have liked. But that is the extra two points. South Africa lead. We've got nine minutes left in the first half. Well, this is a new 10-12 combination for New Zealand. Mertens and Tutupo replacing Spencer and Carter. Being really found out by South African backs that are running at pace, at great angles. And as you said, Joe Fanico really getting the spring box over the game line, getting them go forward. Ball. And so now, what will the tactic be from the scrummage? Three quarters centre, three quarters to both sides. Off goes Jacques Renier. Flips it to Marius Chappell. Marius Chappell, hat trick, hat trick, unbelievable. Only the second Springbok ever to score a hat trick against the All Blacks. The last was Ray Mort. And that is the ball game. Third try in this game. Jim Boy, over he goes. Jock Renier did well, came round the corner, again running at Andrew Mertens. The ball popped out, fortunately. And, uh, well, Marius Jubert, round the corner, over he goes. Look at the and fingers by Jean de Villiers. Three fingers up in the air. 38, this for 40 for South Africa. Still the All Blacks rush it out. They never give up the All Blacks. There are four minutes left on the clock. 14 points to 26, two tries could be a draw. Jacques Grenier came around the corner again. Mertens not making the tackle. Umaga ripped the ball out, popped up nicely, and in went to bed. 